Hello, Mark. Yes. Hey, this is Eric. I was I talked to you earlier about uh. Oh uh, yes, yes. About your uh the book. Yes. Um, I downloaded the uh the app and everything. Uh huh. Um, I was wondering if if you if you had time to to uh there's a couple of questions I have. Sure. About it. Um, I was reading through it and uh. I guess it's, it's uh, section two on uh, who is Jesus. Uh huh. Section two. I have one right in front of me here. Um, okay. Eric. And it says he was created by Jehovah before everything else. Yes. So Jesus... Probably Colossians. I, I'm not there yet, but... Um, Colossians 1.15, I believe, with my memory. Yes. Yes, Colossians 1.15. Now, we're, we're in, you're in Lesson 2. Mm-hmm. Huh. Lesson two, I guess, uh, or, yeah, section two, section two. Section two. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. Let me get into section two here. That's great that you la the downloaded the book. Yeah, that's, uh... Okay, well, I'm getting out of book, but uh, yeah, Colossians 1.15, is that listed there? Colossians, yeah, for this reason, he's called the first born of all creation. But uh, yes. I was wondering where it says that he was the first, where does the Bible say that he was the first created, or the first creation? He was, crea he was created by Jehovah before everything, before everything else. Well, if you just look at that scripture right there, um, Colossians 1, 15, he is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn, the first of all creation. The firstborn of all creation. Yes. For by him were all things created. Yes. That so are in heaven and that, that are in earth. the helper that helped create all other things. Where is it? Where is uh? Where does it say that he was the first created? Oh, right there, firstborn. Well, the firstborn of creation. Uh huh. Um. It also says he was the firstborn of the dead, from from the dead. What does that mean? The Jesus. Now I, I'm not sure where where are you reading that from, or do you, uh, the, do you have a three question? Three verses on that? down from 15. Jesus is the only one that was resurrected from the dead and continued to be resurrected. Like for example, Lazarus was resurrected from the dead. But uh, he died. And all of the other resurrections that were sh shown in the Bible were, you know, they were resurrected back to the earth, but then they did die. Jesus uh, was resurrected and uh, it was permanent. Okay, but uh, where does it say he was the first created? I mean, it, I understand that, like, firstborn in the Bible, you know, in the Hebrew well, scriptures. Um, well, look at the end of that, firstborn of all creation. Mm -hmm. So, firstborn. of all of the things, I mean, Jehovah created everything, and he was the first. Well, actually, I, I have uh, King James here, it says... 
Can I read that for you? Sure. Who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature? For, okay. And then it goes on, for by him were all things created. So all things yes. were created by Jesus. Yes. Showing that if, if they, all they things were, that Jehovah created him first, and then through him, what through just says Jesus, he's the firstborn. All things were created. It kind of says it's he's the firstborn of every creature, and then it goes on to say that he has the preeminence. That in all things he might have the preeminence. That's in verse eighteen. So, like, okay. what I was let getting at was like the get back. Yeah. the firstborn. You know, like um, in in uh, Psalm eighty nine twenty seven. Um, this is talking about David, and and uh, it says Psalm eighty nine. Verse 27, I also shall make him my firstborn, the highest of the kings of the earth. Now, David yes. wasn't firstborn of his brothers, was he? He was the youngest. Now, who are, who are we talking about now? Are well, we talking says, about Jesus? No, so I'm talking about firstborn, what it, what it means in, in like, as it refers to the preeminence, you know, having... The firstborn always had in, in all, you know, throughout the Bible, the firstborn always had a significance. They had the blessing, they had the, they had the highest authority in the family. And that's why, again, Jesus was firstborn, and he has all authority. Right, but David wasn't firstborn, was he? David was not firstborn, no. So when when in Psalm eighty nine twenty seven, what is this talking about? David, I also okay. I also shall make him my firstborn, the highest of the kings of the earth. Can I um? Let me see if I can send you this. Hmm. Which I can, I believe. I can send you. I, I can read it to you, but I could also send this to you. Um, I have a question that says, why does Jehovah refer to David, my servant, as firstborn, when David was not a firstborn son? Would you like me to send that to you? Well, what what is what is the what is it? You say? want me to read it? Sure. Okay, it says in Psalm 89, Jehovah refers to David, my servant, and reviews the covenant for the kingdom that was made with him. In the midst of this is the statement, I myself shall place him as firstborn, the most high of the kings of the earth. David was not a firstborn son. So it seems that Jehovah was referring prophetically to the one foreshadowed by David, God's own firstborn son in heaven upon whom he confers kingship more exalted than that of any human ruler. Compare Ezekiel 3.24, where Messiah is spoken of as my servant, David. Ezekiel uh, 34.24. Ezekiel. So this is basically you're saying, or the Watchtower saying that um, 8927 is referring to Jesus. Well, it's saying it's prophetically right, yeah. one foreshadow because remember Jesus came from David's line, and David was before Jesus. So in as far as the physical presence of David or of Jesus David was first okay. but not first of all creation well I'm, I'm talking about like firstborn 
because like it has different meanings like i mean it could be sequentially like the firstborn like ephraim or uh, manasseh in genesis uh -huh. was born before ephraim right but going again colossians 1 15 the firstborn of all creation that statement says it all it says the firstborn what does it say the of first... all creation um, the firstborn of every creature. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, so what is first James version, yeah. but basically the same thing. So what does firstborn mean? So what does firstborn mean? Firstborn means that it was the first, the, the first that first thing that cre that Jehovah created. So, um, again, I'm asking, like, but Israel stretched out his right hand. This is Genesis 48, 14. And I, I, I just looked through the Bible and was looking for, like, what is, you know, firstborn. Like, and I, you know, I came across Genesis okay. 14. Let's put it, let's put it this way. I move in the, in my house. Mm-hmm. And the first thing that I do is fix the sink's plumbing. What's first? Jehovah created everything. What was his first? Jesus. Now, I mean, we, so can, that's the we only... can change, we can turn things and say, well, you know, what's the, the first thing I did in my electrical work? Or we could talk about who's the firstborn of a family in the Bible. But that statement again, Colossians 1 verse 15, puts Jesus as the first of all creation. And through Jesus, Jehovah, through Jesus, created all other things. And... So the so being firstborn in scripture doesn't always mean sequentially, does it? Like uh, in the context that is given, yes. So like with in uh like Genesis 48:14 and Jeremiah 31 9 in 48 14 of Genesis it says Ephraim was the younger yeah and in Jeremiah 31 verse 9 for I am the father to Israel this is Yahweh's well with weeping they will come and by supplication I will lead them I will make them walk by streams of water on a straight path in which they will not stumble for I am a father to Israel, and Ephraim is my firstborn. Okay, firstborn of in Israel. First, I, I really don't know what point you're making. I mean, well, Ephraim is the point, youngest. My question to you is this: What did Jehovah create first? Um, let there be light. In the beginning, God created what the heavens and the earth. was the first earth. creature that Jehovah created? Um, God said, let there be real, let there be light. So in, you're, on the first you're day... You're not answering my question. What was the first creature? Well, what is a creature? A, a creation, right? What's, what is a... What is a... You know, I'm, now I'm using your King James. What is a creature? Something a that is thing. created... Um, a creature. Yeah, a creature is a living thing. So according to the King James, what is the first creature that was created? Um, in the beginning, God uh, created... You're, you're going back to the book of Genesis. You're going to tell me about the, the you know, the, the creating of the earth and everything. That's I'm the, asking you what is the first creature that, is that was a creature. created according to Genesis. 
Well, apparently the same word that is um, translated creature and creation are the same, right? Would you say? So if creation, the well, first creation, is I heaven mean, and earth. In King James, it uses creature. Right. So what's who was the first creature? Who was the first yeah. creature? Who was the first creature created? Um, according to uh, the first creature created. Colossians one fifteen. Oh, well, I don't know. It just says the firstborn of every creature, and I'm what I was getting at is firstborn. Like if you read it in context. In Hebrew, you know, culture, because the firstborn son was customarily the heir, the term firstborn became associated with the meaning of heir, or the one yep. with the right to rule. And Jehovah's the preeminent heir is Jesus. The preeminent, the preeminent one. Yeah. Even Eric, I really don't know what the, your point is. My point uh -huh. is, where in the Bible does it? I'm asking, where in the Bible does it say that Jesus was the first created? Colossians 1.15. How does that say that he was the first created? Because if you read it... In context. It says very clearly, whether you're using the King James, the King James says creature, but if you look at... Colossians 1.15, New World Translation, Translation. it says very clearly, He, who is He, the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation, points to Jesus. Which and means then, He's the heir of all creation. Verse right? 16, because of means of Him, all other things were created in the heavens and on the earth. All other things? Where does it say other things? Verse 16. Where does it say that? For by him well, all things... Read verse 16. For by him were all things created that are in okay. heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible. Yep. All things... So, who is he? For by him, Jesus. Now, yes. Now, it says all things were created by Jesus. Right? We're created in the heavens through Jesus, yes. Through him. For, All other things have been created through him and for him. Where does it say 16. other where does it say other things? Uh write down verse sixteen. Look at the last part, the last sentence. The last sentence. Verse sixteen. All things were created by him and for him. And he is before all things, and by him all things consist. And he is before or, and he is the head of the body, the church, uh -huh. who is the beginning, yep. the firstborn from the dead, that uh -huh. in all things he might have the preeminence. For it pleased the Father that in him should all fullness dwell. And having made uh -huh. peace through the blood of his cross, by him to reconcile all things unto himself, by him, I say, whether they be things in the earth or things in heaven. And you that were sometime alienated and enemies in your mind by wicked works, yet now hath he reconciled. In the body of his flesh through death, to present you holy and unblameable and un reprovable in his sight so again it says that he has the preeminence and that's what that's what firstborn means in like the hebrew in hebrew culture okay it doesn't so what's your it, point it doesn't necessarily mean that he was the firstborn eric if you look at ver chapter 1 verse 15 it makes it very clear and that's um, that is that is a fact. 
in well, these I, areas. I agree that he's... You're beating around the bush. You're, you're going from... You're going different thoughts, first eminence, whatever. But if you look at Colossians 1.15, it makes it clear. And I, I really don't know what your point is. Well, I'm ask, I had questions. My point is... Yeah, well, but I, I answered your, your, your question. Colossians 1.15 says that Jesus was the firstborn. Right. I, I agree. And I, I can't, he... you know, I can't answer it really any clearer. It makes it very clear right there. Okay. Um, is there any other verses that say he's like the first created? I can look at, I can send you some articles and some thoughts on it. Well, is there any verses in the Bible that, that clearly say that Jesus was created first somewhere? Let's see here. If you take a look at Proverbs chapter 8, verse 22. Proverbs 8, what? 8, 22. Proverbs 8, verse 22. 822. This is talking about wisdom. Well, if you read Proverbs 8, verse 22, it says, Jehovah produced me at the beginning of his way, the earliest of his achievements of long ago. Well, who is, who is that? Wisdom. Which wisdom Jesus um, if you look at Revelation chapter 3, verse 14. Hold on. Wisdom well, you want other proofs, you know, look at Revelation chapter 3, verse 14. Well, is, is, are, is, is 822? So, possessed me in the beginning of his ways. So, so possessed him in the in the beginning of his ways before his works of old the earliest of his achievements the earliest yeah. of his achievements where is it say where where are you at uh, in 22 are you at revelation no i was still i'm okay. still well, right there the earliest of his achievements of long ago the end of verse 22. it says yahweh possessed me in the beginning and this is wisdom in the beginning of his ways before his works of old It says, Yahweh possessed me, already, you know, had in the beginning of his ways, before his works of old. Um, so what was, what was Jehovah's first creation? Uh, in the beginning, God that, created... I'm asking you a question. What was Jehovah's first creature that he created? Heavens and the earth. That's not a creature. Heavens and earth are not creatures. What are they? Creations? Y yes. Well, aren't creations creatures? No. Or creatures no, creation? I, I, I made a bookshelf in my life. It's not a creature. Well what what is the what is the word translated creation in in uh 
Colossians 1.15. Well, like you said, in if you look at the firstborn, a firstborn, a bookshelf isn't born, a house isn't born, the earth wasn't born. Right. A creature is born. If you, you know, and uh, if you look at uh, Genesis 1, verse 26, it talks again about a creature, the first creature. And God said, let us make man in our image. Let us, who is us? Jehovah and his son, Jesus. Yeah, let us make man. Yes, let us, who is us? Right, but where does it say that he was- The first creature, Jesus. Where does it say he was the first creation? Colossians 1.15. It says he's first born, just like Ephraim is first born. Well, creatures are born. We can say they're born. Mm -hmm. We can say they're created. I have two sons. I can say I created them. I can also say they were born. But one thing for sure, a creature has life. That is for sure. A living creature. Rocks are not creatures. The earth isn't a creature. But, uh... Well, Eric, there, there is the proof. That's, that's all the proof that I can give you. You look at those scriptures, you... You but take a look at those, and uh, that's it. Shouldn't I, I don't know, shouldn't, you know, if you can tell me another scripture that says that Jehovah created anybody else before Jesus, I'd like to see that. And, you know, I keep going back to that question, who was Jehovah's first creation, first creature creation? And you tell me the earth or the moon or the stars, but that's none of those are none of those are creatures, none of them. It's only Jesus, and that's you know I uh, I don't know what else to tell you. Um, but as, well, as I'm, far as we're I'm, concerned, I'm not... it's very clear. You know, the Bible says everything must be established by two or three witnesses, and I would... I would well, like when you that. have your book in front of you, that has been established by dozens of witnesses. It was written not by one person. What book? The Bible? You enjoy life forever. Oh, well... And the Bible. Well, the Bible is clearly above any man written book it's no it's actually dictated from god written by god yeah the bible passed down through man yes but the book that you're looking at enjoy life forever which makes that statement about colossians 1 15 it is by many more than two or three witnesses well they That's all point to one fact. they they all point to one verse there well it, that's you can also look at the, the other verses that I pointed to um, but uh, and uh, 822 is is talking about Jesus in uh, Proverbs yes uh, where does it say that it says wisdom I guess what you have to do okay if you also look at, if you also take a look, and it, uh, Revelation 3, verse 14. Well, let's, hold on, you haven't established and, Eric, that. Eric, you know, let me, let me make something real clear here. We have a 
are established beliefs based on God's word. My, my purpose in this is not to discuss it, is not to reason with you to debate it back and forth. I showed you scriptures, I've asked you questions, but there's, there's the proof, Colossians 1, 15, Revelation 3, verse 14, there's Three verse the proof. 14. That is at, really as far as I can go. Can we look at Re, uh, Revelation three fourteen? I, I, Eric, I don't want to. I really don't want to debate it with you. Oh, I'm Colossians just asking one fifteen, Revelation three verse fourteen. If you do not look at those scriptures, they can see that Jesus was the firstborn, and all the other things were created. We are not on the same page, and the page that I have in front of me, God's Word, is very clear to me. It is established belief. We and we as Jehovah's Witnesses teach what is from that book based on God's word. It's not to be debated. And it's it's purposeless to be debated. Okay. I have my established beliefs again based on God's word very clearly. Okay. And, uh, you know, we're going back and forth, but I, I ask you the same question I've asked you numerous times. What is God's first creature creation? And you have not answered me yet. Um, let us make man in our own. You're not answering my question. So the first creation. What was God's first creature creation? Um, he said, let the earth bring forth, uh, uh, do you, or, uh, let's see, no, I'd have to look in Genesis here. I, the book of Genesis talks about creations, the earth, the moon, the stars. And the planet. I'm asking you yeah. what creature what life form uh, was plants. God's first? In in the scriptures, it's a uh, let the earth bring forth the uh, the herbs and the. That's not a that's not a creature. Eric. Well, then it's an herb is not a creature. Let the earth bring forth uh, the creatures and crawling things. Uh, Through who? I'm going, to, I'm going to share one other scripture with you, Revelation 3, verse 14. Okay, but uh, says, can I ask you something? Let's, let's, um, I, I want to know, um, uh, does the Watchtower, I believe I heard that it book teaches that Michael was the first creation? Yes. Just another name for Jesus. So Jesus is Michael? Yes. And you can... Uh, yes, I that, can. That's in the scripture? But, uh, Eric, you have our book there. Yeah, if that's, you would that's like to prompt. study as a student, we are very willing to do that. Study as a student. The book was written is our text it's based on god's word it is not to be debated we can answer questions but all of those questions we start at the beginning of the book we go through the book um we have a difference of opinion here but my opinion is based on god's word Colossians 1 verse 15 revelation 3 verse 14 that's what my opinion is based on not my opinion, but my fact, based on those scriptures. You've never, you have not yet answered what the first creation is. You look back at Genesis, but that's where it talks very about clearly, the first creation. Those are not creatures. Colossians one fifteen talks about a creature. Revelation three verse fourteen talks about 
Actually, creature. it talks about the firstborn of his creation. Firstborn. Right. A mountain is not born. Like a bookshelf is not born. It's made. It's created. And again, born, I was asking... When we talk about born, we talk about it. The firstborn is also a position of, of an heir. Yes, it is. I agree with that. Just as Ephraim was not uh, again, Eric, sequentially firstborn. Point is, I um, and right now, right now, I'm going to go eat lunch. So you know, look at the look at the book, read, study. Uh, I think the question you have to answer is who was the first creation creature man human who was that answer that question okay okay um can i read you something real quick uh no i'm my wife just has uh dinner ready for me and that's where i'm gonna go thank you for your call all right well could we talk again sometime sure Sure. Um, when, will, when will be a good... the first question I'm going to ask you though again, Eric, is wh who is the first creature that was created? That's the question I'm going to ask you. All right, let me write that down. Okay. Who is the first creature? Creature. Mm -hmm. And is... um, so a creature. I'm going to look up. I'm going to look up all the words that are translated as creature and because creature is an English word you agree yes okay and the, and the, and, well, and, and the you scriptures can put were in there man who was the first man that was created Adam spirit creature man oh who what's was the first spirit creature life a living being a creature must have yeah. life it's a prerequisite of first spirit creature. creature. Okay, well, those that's a spirit creature. What what do you define a spirit creature? Well, Jesus was created in the heavens, not on the earth. Where is God in the heavens? And his son, that's where he was. He had a pure human existence. We well, created the heavens go, before. My, my lunch is ready. We'll talk again. But there's my question, okay? The heavens were created first. The heavens are not a creature. But they were created first. By whom? By God. But again, you're not answering who was the first creature. The first well, creature, I'm, I'm, the I'm first just you said uh, creature, the first creature, spirit. I don't, I, I don't want to hear about heavens. Well, that earth, was the first creation. Rocks, stones, they are not creatures. Yeah, but they were creations. That's go. all. That's all I was saying. You, we'll talk again, Eric. You have a good day now. Uh, well, so, uh, all right. Thank you.